Hello artists and friends and welcome back to another week of my art practice. This week I focused a lot on taking daily inspiration from my life and drawing and painting that instead of having a more formal practice. So a lot of weeks I'll follow along with my Udemy course and that's really good because I learn so much from courses like that. But I think it's really important when you're a beginner artist to have a mix of educational content and then also inspirational content because that way you're less likely to get burnt out. You will just get burnt out like drawing circles and shapes all day and doing practices. So I think it's really good to balance that out with inspirational content. So that's just drawing and painting things that you love and you're so inspired by. And that is the point of art at the end of the day is to enjoy the process and love what you're creating. So I definitely recommend having a good mix of both of those two in your practice. And since the weather has been so beautiful this past week, it's like that early fall and September weather, I took advantage of that and I did a lot of outdoor painting and it was very, very fun to experiment. It's outdoor painting is also called and player painting and it's much more dynamic and there's so much more going on with the lighting and the atmosphere around you. So it was really fun to experiment with that. And for those of you that don't know, and player was popularized by Impressionism and so a lot of painters like Monet and amazing artists like that use this technique to create beautiful beautiful works so I would definitely recommend giving it a try if you want to spend more time outside and also spend time painting so let's get into what I created this week so this is the first piece that I created on Monday which was Labor Day and I had the day off and since the weather was so beautiful I decided to go for a bike ride to a park that was near my house and it's called Gravelly Point and it's actually right next to an airport so it's like this huge open field and a lot of people picnic there and you can get a really good close-up of the planes taking off. So I just knew that I wanted to paint something outdoors. I didn't go in with any specific plan. I walked around for a little bit and just tried to see what I felt like painting that day. And so I drew a little plane in the sky to represent all of the planes that were taking off. And then there were also so many people picnicking there. I saw so many cute couples and cute picnic baskets and blankets. So I decided to add that down at the bottom. And then I also, since I biked there, I just sketched my bike and this is like, my bike was just laying like this in the grass. And so I just did a little real life sketch from that. And then of course you all know, I love to add text to my paintings and my art. So I just did a little title of the park and then wrote about my day. And this was such a lovely day. I cannot recommend enough going outdoors and painting especially when the weather is really, really nice. Okay, and then obviously you can tell that this painting is unfinished, and this was on either Tuesday or Wednesday. I had such a great time painting at Gravelly Point that I was like, oh, let me go outside and sketch again because the weather's nice. And I think I spent about like two hours sketching and doing the beginning stages of painting for this piece, but it was just not coming out well, and I don't know why. I think that the landscape I was trying to paint was just honestly beyond my skill level and I was getting so frustrated and I was having an awful time. My back hurt so much from bending over and doing the sketching and the painting and so I just decided to stop it and because art is supposed to be fun and yes it is important to push yourself especially when you're practicing but it's not supposed to be painful or miserable and that's what this painting was for me so I called it quits after two hours and you know it's okay I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes I'm gonna make a lot of ugly art before I get really good and I've just resigned myself to that so again reminder it's totally okay to mess up to have unfinished work as long as you keep practicing and try again tomorrow, that is what counts and that is the most important part. So then I was walking around the water because I live near the Potomac River and there's, I knew I wanted to paint outdoors again and I saw these really, really cute ducks. There's so many ducks because a lot of people come to the water to feed them and this time I had learned from the previous two times I had painted outdoors and I did the sketch at home which was a lot more comfortable for me just, just because I don't have a good setup outside. I am like bending over or like 
sketching on the ground, which just gets really uncomfortable. So I did the sketches at home and then I went and painted outside for about an hour. And I just did these two little ducks and like this cute little feather to separate them. And I really like how this came out and it was such a fun painting to do and such a lovely way to spend a Friday afternoon. For this painting, I wanted to challenge myself to do it without a sketch. So for all my paintings, I will always do a sketch underneath to make sure I have the proportions correct. But I feel like that when you have a sketch, your painting can't be as spontaneous and you can't experiment as much. So for this piece, I really challenged myself to paint without a sketch and do more loose watercolor because usually when I'm painting, I'm just painting inside the lines of my sketch and it can come out looking too rigid or structured and I just want to try on a bunch of different styles and see what I prefer. So this was really fun to experiment with and I don't think it's a bad first try for having no sketch and for doing a really really loose watercolor. I recommend to you all experimenting with different techniques, trying out different things because you never know what's going to happen. So that's it for this week. I hope you all enjoyed what I made and you are working on your own art practice and I will see you next week.